This is a preview of our two-day art and antique sale, which is next Wednesday and Thursday, 20th and 21st of February. And we're just going to have a quick look around the sale room, which is currently being set up now, and point out a few things that are quite interesting this time. So we're starting with a couple of interesting paintings that have come in um, from a private collection, and they're quite sizable oil paintings here. So this is the first one. Um, both, both of these came from the same house. They've been reframed quite modern, very quite modern, very, well, a bit too bright, these gilt frames, but a very early painting. This is either late 16th or early 17th century, this um, painting on canvas. It has been restored uh, quite recently, I should think, and could probably do with a little clean again, really. But very interesting um, religious composition there, and quite unusual to find such a large scale painting of that sort of period. And this again from the same property, a similar sort of age, probably uh, 17th century, I should think, that one. And quite a lot going on in that. It's, it's a really interesting picture. Slightly spoilt by the um, bright frames that would be better without them, really. But we have got about 350 very interesting lots of pictures this time, so well worth a browse through the picture section. Some, some really good things, probably the best lot of pictures we've had for a while. Um, so they're best viewed online, really. But we'll just have a quick look round while we're here. Not very much in the furniture line this month, unfortunately. Nice um, leather upholstered porter's chair there. They're always quite fashionable things. And so we'll just go down the other side here, I think. These walls will be filled with pictures by tomorrow, so ready for viewing next week. And what have we got down here? A fantastic violin here by Luigi Bertelli, who apparently is a very uh, good quality violin maker. Um, about 1930, this one. And we've got all the provenance to go with it here. And this was bought about um, eight or nine years ago by the present vendor for £12,000, that violin. Um, the estimate, I think, is about three to 4000 now. And right next to it, got an electric guitar signed by the Rolling Stones. You're going to read their handwriting. I'm assured that <laughs> I can read Ronnie Wood, but, but the others are definitely there. It's, that's estimated at uh, four to six hundred pounds. That's a Victorian trombone. We'll carry on down here. <clears throat> and a John Lennon um, signed album cover, 1979. Unfortunately, the album cover's faded slightly, but that's certainly his pen signature there. Quite a lot of wine and whiskey in this time as well. And um, studio glass and pottery. We've got some pieces of white fryers here. It's a nice colour. White fryers um, sunburst vase there. And that's another piece of white fryers. There's a few pieces of that. Look at that fish. It's a piece of Murano glass there. Amazing, isn't it? That's Estimated at sort of 50 to 80 pounds, something like that. Um, some interesting clocks here as well, as usual. And we've got some really interesting miniatures this time. Uh, these are a group of four, which are um, Indian. They're 19th century paintings on ivory. Very detailed portraits here. Um, what they look like European subjects. And there's another one that's <laughs> slightly... <laughs> I was going to say below the belt. But <laughs> um, there's a piece of Lalique glass there, which is very nice, in good condition as well, with its Lalique box. Uh, that's probably going to be £150 or so. And then as we move along the cabinets here, a very interesting miniature here. This is an 18th century painting. Um, it's an oil painting on card. And on the back it has a very nice old label that says that this is Sarah Churchill, the Duchess of Marlborough, who is one of the subjects in the film The, the Favourite. So a very current, interesting um, subject here. 
It's certainly of that period, but that's, that's very interesting if that really is her there. And that's a very atmospheric painting as well of an old, um, I suppose he's a Crimea War veteran there from the Royal Chelsea Hospital. But it's beautifully painted, that one. Quite a lot of silver, again this time. Got masses, masses of jewellery as usual, but we'll go through that in a minute. I'll get Will to show you those. Some nice things in here. Um, there's a very good quality. This is American silver. This is it's a, quite a heavy gauge cast top to this. It's a, a paper clip that goes on the top of your desk. Um, so it's sprung top. This is, as I said, solid silver. Um, and it's my Black Star um, of America and um, it's been cleaned quite recently but what a top quality item that is that's probably going to be two or three two or three hundred I suppose and that's quite nice as well these are usually double-ended um, perfume bottles um, almost certainly silver mounts but there are no hallmarks on these but the nice thing about this is it's hinged in the middle so when you go like that so I suppose they could be just could be condiments couldn't they they're really nice and good condition as well. So I think they're going to be a hundred or so pounds. Very nice um, advertising painting here in watercolour and gouache and it's an original painting from I think it's about 1920 this one that would have been used in an advertising design I suppose for a poster but they, they, that's immaculate condition as well and that should be probably a couple of hundred pounds. Very nice Victorian sextant here. Quite sculptural items, aren't they? Nice untouched, unpolished condition. And in a case as well with lots of spare lenses. Yeah, nice things to have. What else have we got? More miniatures, another miniature there. Very finely painted one. Um, some gold medals in the cabinet here and solid silver candlesticks. They're very nice, I like those. They're uh, continental, but they are solid silver. And these are worth a look. I'll just bring this case out. This is one of the best quality items in the sale. Fantastic things. So these are solid silver tops. Uh, the hallmarks are 1852. So they're 170 years old, and these are lacquer and gilded on ivory, the handles here. So guaranteed to be at least 170 years old, and they're inlaid with mother of pearl, little pieces of coral, and absolutely immaculate, a beautiful set. So you had a, a pair of those, and they're all individually painted. Everyone has a different design, different birds, and flowers on both sides. You'd struggle to find anything better quality than that. And look at that, there's enough for 12 people. I don't think they've ever been out of the case. So selling that obviously is a complete set, difficult to value. I mean, really, they're, if you looked at one piece of that, I mean, that should be worth a hundred pounds, shouldn't it? But it's not. <laughs> The estimate is between 600 and a thousand pounds for the whole lot but depends who who wants them the most we'll find out um, I'll just move on along a bit here it's a beautiful painting don't know the artist at all but it's quite photographic but we've got three works by this artist this time uh, little bronze cannon there that's quite interesting And that's another painting by that same artist, which is a nice thing. Woodley is the name. More interesting things here. Is that about a hundred year old um, horse and a, a, another bronze bust there by Villani. And then over here, more interesting things. Got a double barrel antique percussion sporting gun here which um, 
being a 19th century gun is, is quite legal to own and a beautiful thing in its original case as well with powder flask, nipple wrench, <laughs> screwdriver, cleaning rods. That's fantastic for that. Estimate on that is three to five hundred. Right next to it is a little military collection. This is nice. This is all one lot here, all relating to the Burma War, or the war in Burma, and the Gurkhas. And what we've got is one lady's story. Um, so she is Ruth, Ruth Inchboard, and we're not quite sure what she did, but she apparently saved quite a few people in Burma. She was awarded this medal, which is the Bronze Star Medal, and it's got her name on the reverse, and it says, um, for meritorious or um, heroic acts. And then here's albums of photographs with... Um, we're told by her family that it's people that she saved, families that she saved in Burma. There's quite a few military um, subjects in there as well. But that's a wonderful lot there. So there's two albums of photos and the medal and a Malayan knife and that cookery, the Gurkha knife that goes with it as well. So keeping it all as one collection, which uh, the family were quite... Um, correctly insistent that it should all stay together which i totally agree with so that's um that's interesting we'll see what that one makes so we're just going to change over now and will is just going to show you some of the watches and the jewelry some fantastic stuff this time right so we'll just go through a few of the uh, watches and jewelry that's in this antique sale uh, starting off i've just gathered only only three here of um, the selection that we've got in this time um, but a nice three they are so uh, um, this first one here, closest to you, lot 301, is a, an 18 karat gold Balm and Mercier. It's a quartz wristwatch, so it's battery operated. But it's, uh, as you can see from the back, I mean, the, it doesn't bevel out at all. It's quite a nice slimline wristwatch. Um, it has been recently serviced as well. Um, and it's just a nice, plain, classic dial. You can see that appealing to quite a few people. And we're hoping to get around four to six hundred for that one, which is quite reasonable for a nice 18 karat wristwatch. The one here is a 1950s IWC. And these don't come up too often at auction. Again, it's 18 karat rose gold. And it's an automatic wristwatch, this one, so you don't have to wind it every single day. Um, but it's uh, another lovely, very good quality wristwatch. And it's in its original box as well. No papers to go with this one, but it's a very good quality watch. It should be about 1,000 to 1,500, something like that. And the one right at the back, that you, <laughs> you're all probably wondering what the hell is in it. Um, I'll just pull it out here. And if you've ever wanted a bling wristwatch, here's the time to get one. Look at that. This is... Another 18 karat wristwatch. It's, it's um, a Rolex day date wristwatch and it has been set with aftermarket diamonds. So it's all the way around the strap here, all the way around on the bezel as well. Diamonds set on the bezel and on the, the dial. And then it's got sapphire baton hour markers. That's a really over the top watch, but it's um, fantastic price for one if you were to buy this one at retail price it would probably be between something like 28 and 30 thousand pounds and we're hoping to get between 10 and 15 thousand so half the price if you wanted to walk into a rolex shop which is completely reasonable really but it's a fantastic quality to watch again with its box again no papers i'm afraid but it's um <laughs> you won't get better quality than that View of the jewellery lots now. And you can see there's a again it's a massive array here. I mean there's plenty more to look through as well. Um, a few of the ones that pop out straight away is this 1.4 carat princess cut solitaire diamond ring. I'll just take that out there. It'll be easier to see. That's a very stylish solitaire diamond ring. 
again, retail price, you'd probably be looking at triple what we'd be trying to get for it, if not quadruple. Um, but it should be between, uh, hopefully, something like three or four thousand. And what else do we have here? Sapphire and diamond rings. We've got New Zealand fern style ring. It's quite nice, good quality as well. An Edwardian marquise shaped ring. And this one is called a forget-me-not, with hands either side on the shoulders. Some lovely rings here. And then at the front here, standing on the squeakiest of <laughs> floorboards right now, um, we've got some natural saltwater pearls. So these don't come up again at, at, often, at, at auction very often. Um, usually it's either uh, natural um, freshwater pearls or uh, cultured pearls, but um, the thing that's difficult to get with these is the certification. So behind it, obviously, you can see it's got a certificate with it, um, but it's a nice single string of natural saltwater pearls, and they are probably going to be between five and eight hundred for a small string like that. But it's extremely difficult to to know um, if they are natural and saltwater. Um, they need to be X-rayed to, to have that certification. A few other bits here. Some Cartier jewellery from the same vendor, but we're selling them in separate lots. So these are called Trinity. Um, so a Trinity bangle and a Trinity ring. All three different colours of gold. And that should be about 1,000 to 1,500. And the, for the ring, about two to three hundred. Very reasonable for a Cartier ring. In front here is a, you usually see these in silver, but this is a nine carat gold cigarette case. Around eight hundred to a thousand for that one. And another unusual stone here. This is called a Tanzanite. And the cut is called the Trillion Cut as well. But again, it's a, it's a very stylish piece of jewellery here. In 18 karat gold with an 18 karat chain. I think we're hoping to get around two to 300 for that one. Um, Norwegian <laughs> silver ring. Not sure how on earth you wear this one without having to either stab yourself or stab someone else. But <laughs> It's just another designer stylish piece of um, Scandinavian jewellery. And then to finish it all off, an 18 karat gold mounted magnifying glass for the, for the next gent coming in. <laughs> Maybe I should wear it on the rostrum. <laughs> Only £100 for that. Seems cheap. Right, so that should be about it. Um, so the sale is going to be, the antique sale is going to be next Wednesday, which is the 20th. Um, and then Thursday is all of the pictures. So the antique sale starts on at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the viewing for both of those sales is on Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7, and then on the mornings of both sales from 9 o'clock. Uh, and the picture sale starts at 11am. So we hope to see you there. Have a look online. Thank you very much.